everyone welcome to this updated video i hope you're doing amazing it is the start of a brand new month so happy march i hope you have a very prosperous month and uh, we'll be looking at what is going on across the caribbean not only in terms of weather but also a seismic update now there hasn't been a pretty intense shaking in the caribbean which is really great but uh, there have been the usual small earthquakes here and there so there was one earlier this morning near the virgin islands uh, to the east of st croix that was estimated to be a magnitude 3.3 minor shaking to offshore uh, southern puerto rico and both were very very weak two point uh, estimated to be magnitude 2.3 and 2.4 and a magnitude 4 offshore the Dominican Republic and that was last night so these are the recent shakings within the last 12 hours of me making this video and so uh, again nothing major in the Caribbean it is typical for these smaller shakings to happen every now and again even every day now let's go ahead and talk about weather conditions so as we look at the Atlantic Basin here we can see all that activity is still moving through parts of the U.S. Some thunderstorms moving across states such as Mississippi and uh, earlier in Louisiana as well, likely some heavy rain in other parts of the southeast. And there is some activity out there in association with the surface trough, which models were showing at times even trying to gain some uh, characteristics to be classified as a subtropical system. But that is, uh, hasn't happened. Environmental conditions are not the most conducive right now despite the sea surface temperatures being above average so as we look to the caribbean though nothing much is really happening we've got these patches of clouds these low level clouds moving by and with that there could be some showers across some areas as we head through today but nothing too significant so showers possible across parts of the lesser antilles all the way from anguilla through trinidad and tobago even for the virgin islands puerto rico hispaniola but uh, some areas will likely remain pretty dry today not experiencing any rainfall at all then as we head towards Jamaica, there could be some showers around today as well. Same story for Cuba, up to the Bahamas, parts of Florida, and over into Central America, especially along the Caribbean coast. So countries including Panama, even Costa Rica, Nicaragua, the offshore islands of San Andreas Providencia, even towards eastern Honduras, going to Belize, could experience some showers as we head through today. Nothing too crazy, but over uh, to the Pacific side, we see that it's a little bit drier, not seeing any of those shadings around. And then uh, for the Cayman Islands, the ABC Islands, and also the Turks and Caicos Islands, much is not expected as we head through today. Uh, down to northern South America, though, there could be some heavy downpours near the Pacific coast of Colombia and in parts of southern Venezuela. For the Guyanas, few passing showers possible here and there, but today will likely be dry for the most part. Now, in terms of the winds, it's been windy and it will likely remain windy as we head through today. We're seeing all of these darker purple and blue shadings as well. So for the most part across the region, winds could be up to 20, 25 miles per hour with higher gusts. And especially just offshore Colombia, that's where the windiest weather is going to be found as we head into today. And also where the most significant wave height is going to be up to 10 feet in that area elsewhere across the caribbean going from around below a foot up to around three four feet things will also be a little bit more unsettled offshore the bahamas and turks and caicos islands as well as the northern part of hispaniola puerto rico near the virgin islands and also the northern leeward islands and so guys that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video so again uh, no major earthquakes, but there have been a few in the past 12 hours across the Caribbean and uh, no significant rainfall is expected across the entirety of the basin. I mean, we're in the dry season and we'll see rainfall activity really starting to kick up, especially as we head into next month in April and even in May. And then we know after that hurricane season officially begins, although we could see something develop before June 1st. Oh, and also the Saharan dust is clearing up just as I had mentioned earlier this week and uh, we'll be seeing more plumes though as we head into the next couple of months. So that's it for now guys. I hope you found this video to be quite informative and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond to you when I can and remember to always be otherwise.